So let's look at the questions which are related to dice. Basically in dice you will be having the questions on finding opposite face of any particular face. That means for example the question is given like this. Which number is on the face opposite to 6? So like this you will be having the questions. So, so in this chapter you are going to see three types of questions. Type 1 is 3 or 4 different orientations of a die. Type 2 is only 2 orientations of a die. And type 3 is unfolded paper. Let's have a glance on first type question. Questions which are related to 3 or 4 different orientations of a die. So before we are solving this type 1 question, just observe few details about the dice. If you take any dice, if you consider one particular face, for any one face, you are going to see 4 or adjacent faces, one will be opposite face. So remember this point, for any dice, any dice, for one particular face, there are 4 adjacent, one will be opposite. So using this point, we can comfortably solve the questions of type 1 questions. That means if you observe this question, what is a face opposite to 2? So 2 opposite means the bottom face is required. So using visualization, it will be difficult to, to figure out what is there in the bottom. That's why instead of finding opposite face, I am trying to observe what are adjacents to 2. For 2, 4 and 3 are adjacent. For 2, 6 and 1 are adjacent. Whatever is a number which is not there, that will be treated as opposite. That is what is the point. For every one particular face, 4 will be adjacent, 1 will be opposite. Because it is difficult to figure out opposite, we will try to find out adjacent sites. Other than adjacent sites will be treated as opposite. Because we will be having 1 to 6 numbers. The number which is not there is 5. So definitely 2 opposite will be 5. So this is a point we are going to use to solve all the questions of dice. Opposite is defined as other than adjacent sites. Opposite is defined as other than adjacent sites. So you try to figure out adjacent sites. Whatever is a number which is not there in the adjacent sites, that will be opposite. That means if you observe the question which we have taken in the previous, which number is opposite to phase 6? So opposite to phase 6, instead of finding opposite, you try to figure out adjacent. What are adjacent to 6? 2 comma 3. And what are adjacent to 6? 2 comma 4. Already 2 we have taken. And what are adjacent to 6? 5 comma 4. That means 5. Here 6 is not there. That means for any one face, 4 will be adjacent, 1 will be opposite. That means 6, 2, 3, 4, 5 are adjacent. The leftover number 1 will be definitely treated as opposite. So you can mark the answer. Opposite to 6, there is a number 1. And look at the another question. There are three different positions of x, y, z are given. Using that, find out the face opposite to 6. So opposite to 6, in the dice 1, we don't have 6. But in the dice 2, dice 3, we have 6. What are adjacent to 6 here? 3 comma 4. What are adjacent to 6 in this? 2 comma 5. What is the number not there? 1. So we can say opposite to 6, there is a number 1. So like that, we can solve the type 1 questions. Let's look at the type 2 question. Type 2 question, case 1, when we have any question like this. That means the question is given, find out opposite to number 5. Opposite to number 5. Here, 5 is available here. They are asking you to find out what is opposite to number 5. And 5 is not there here. If you use rule number 1, it going, it's, it's going to fail. You cannot apply the rule number 1 because we can only say 1 and 3 are adjacent. We need at least 4 adjacent sides to tell opposite 1 directly. But was using only 2, we cannot solve. That means you rule 1 is not going to work here. Use the rule number 2 when you are solving this type of questions. So to use rule number 2, first of all, you have to observe how many faces are common in these two dice. So if you observe these two dice, we have 1 and 3, 1 and 3 common in these two. That means whenever you have a 2 dice and in that 2 dice, if 2 faces are common, then that means that the leftover terms are going to treat treated as opposite. So this is the point, keep it in mind. When 2 faces are common, then the leftover terms are opposite. That means 5 opposite, 5 opposite will be 6 or 6 opposite will be 5. So whenever we are having two faces as common, immediately observe the leftover terms. Those two will act like a opposite sides. For example, we have a question like this. Three different positions of the same dice is shown. Six faces, number from 1 to 6. Select the one which is on the face opposite to number showing 1. So one opposite they are asking. One opposite they are asking. 
So if you observe this uh, question carefully, in dice 2, dice 3, we are able to see that 2, 5, 4, 5, 1, 4. What are common in these two? 5 and 4 are common. As I told you in the previous, when two faces are common, the leftover terms are opposite. So one opposite will be 2, mark the answer as 1. Hope it is clear. Let's take another question. Three different orientations of a dice are given. They are asking what is opposite to A. So opposite to A means if you observe the dice 1 and dice 2, we are able to see that C and B are common. When two faces are common, the leftover terms are going to act like opposite. So opposite to A, there is a Z. So let's look at the type 3 question. Sorry. Let's look at the type 2 question of the case 2. That means how to deal with the question when the question is having only one face as common. When one face is common, that means the question is given like this. Find the face opposite to number 4. If you observe this, number 4 is available here number 4 is available here, they are asking opposite to 4. To find out opposite, using the rule 1, we cannot solve because 4 is not available here. Rule 1 fails. Rule 2, we cannot apply because rule 2 minimum requirement is you need to see two faces common. This is also not going to work. So now, rule 3, you can apply in solving this question. When we have to apply rule 3 is, whenever you have any question of opposite and when you see the two dice with only one face as common, that means here 1, 5, 4, 1, 6, 2. So we are able to see 1 is common. So if you have one face as common, use one simple trick. When we have one face common, use orientation method. Orientation method means whatever is a common number is there, look at the numbers after that. That means here after 1, we are able to see the number 5 and after 5, there is a number 4. And if you observe the second dice, after number 1, we have a number 6 and number 2. And you are done. If you are able to write like this, you are done with the problem. How? It means that 4 opposite will be 2, 5 opposite will be 6, 1 opposite never be 1. It should be other number which is not there here. What is the other number? Which is 3. So 1 opposite is 3. Basically the question is what is opposite to number 4? Your answer will be 2. Opposite to number 4, your answer will be 2. That means what we need to do is look at the common term, go in a clockwise direction, write the ne next numbers, you will be able to get the answer. Let's take one example question. What is opposite to number 4? So if you observe these two we are able to see 3 is common in these two. So because 3 is common, I am just trying to apply the rule 1 here. What are adjacent to 3? 1 comma 2. From the second diagram, 5 comma 6. What is not there? 4 is not there. That means 3 opposite is 4, but asking they are asking what is opposite to 4. We can mark the answer as 3. So we can also apply rule 3 in solving this question, but why? Rule 1 is not suggested is, for example, if they are asking what is opposite to 5, then rule 1 is not going to helpful in solving this question because 5 only two adjacent sides we are able to see. That's why just apply rule 3 for solving this now because we are able to see only one face common, 3. So just highlight that, go in a clockwise direction, write the next numbers, 3, 1, 2. And here, after 3, what are the numbers we are able to see? 3, 5, 6. That means 2 opposite will be 6, 1 opposite will be 5. 3 opposite, it never be 3, it should be other number which is not there here, that is 4. So 3 opposite is 4, 1 opposite is 5, 2 opposite is 6. Like that we can able to solve any question based on. So remember, orientation method, very important, useful method in solving the questions faster. So what is the opposite to number 4 is a question. So you can observe, this is uh, 4, 2, 6 and we are able to see 4. 3, 5. I am using the first dice and last dice. What is common here? So common is 4. 4, 6, 2 from this diagram. 4, 3, 5 from the next diagram. 2 opposite is 5. 6 opposite is 3. 4 opposite is should not be 4. It should be the other number which is not there. Other number is 1. So answer for the question opposite to 4. Answer is 1. Hope you are able to follow. Let's tackle one more question which is related to the same. Find the opposite to phase 6. Find the opposite to phase 6. So you can use any one of the rule that is up to you. So just pause the video, try to answer. You can apply rule 1 or rule 2 or rule 3, anything will work. So best thing is applying rule 2 case 1. That means when you are able to see two faces as common, then the leftover terms are opposite. So 6 opposite will be 4, mark it as answer choice. 
So this is the type 2 question. Let's move on to type 3 question. Type 3 question is unfolded dice. Unfolded dice means what you are going to see is open dice. That means there will be a paper. You have to fold it as a dice. Like this there is a paper. You have to fold it as a dice. After folding, you have to find out what is the opposite face. So that means the question will be given like this. What is opposite to uh, 4, opposite to 3, something like that you will be having the question. So just you have to observe one simple pattern here so that you can comfortably solve. What is the pattern we have to observe is when you are folding. So you assume you are just folding like this. So when you are folding, these two is acting like opposite, these two faces. And in the folding, these two faces are opposite, that means these two. And left over, these two faces are opposite. So I'm trying to make a point here. What is that point is for this particular face, let's assume this is A. This will be adjacent, this will be adjacent and next to adjacent will be acting like opposite. That means these two will be opposite. You are able to see the diagram. And for this, this will be opposite. For this, this will be opposite. That means for this, this is adjacent side, next to adjacent is opposite. And for this, this layer is a complete adjacent layer next to adjacent is opposite that's why i'm using this rule to solve these questions opposite is defined as next to adjacent side so whatever is a dice you are having if you want to find out the opposite you just find out the opposite just by using the rule of finding next to adjacent that means if you have an unfolded paper like this they're asking what is opposite to three so 3 is here, this is adjacent layer, next to adjacent is opposite, 3 opposite is 5. They are asking what is opposite to 4, 4 is here, this is adjacent layer, next to adjacent is opposite, 4 opposite will be 6 and 1 opposite will be 2. Like that you can solve this type 3 questions. That means here what is opposite to 4 is a question. So if you observe 4 is here, this is adjacent, next to adjacent will be opposite, 4 opposite will be 5, mark the answer as this. What is opposite to face M is a question, use the diagram, face M is here. So what is opposite? So K is here, R is adjacent, opposite to K there is a face M. So opposite to M they are asking, mark it as K. What is opposite to R? N. Opposite to A? Yes. Like that you can solve. Let's take one more question. This is a paper given, you have to fold it as a dice. Find the pair of letters which are opposite faces. What is opposite to E? E and N are opposite. What is opposite to P? P and Y are opposite. And oppo opposite to M? will be A. So M and A are opposite. So they are asking pick the opposite pair. P and Y is the opposite pair we are able to see here. Remaining or not mark the answer as P and Y. Let's look at the important questions on dice problems. If you observe this question, two positions of a single dice are shown below. If a dot is at the bottom, then what is the number of dots appear on the top? So that means he is asking you to figure out what is opposite to this single dot. What is opposite to single dot? So if you observe, we are able to see one face as common, that is 3 here. So for 3, what are adjacent I am trying to find out using the rule number 1. So from, for 3, 5 is adjacent here, 4 is adjacent here. And for this, 6 is adjacent here, 2 is adjacent here. What is not there, 1 is not there. So 3 opposite will be 1, but they are asking what is opposite to 1, mark the answer 3. Let's take another question, unfolded dice kind. Which of the following pattern of the boxes can be formed when the sheet is given below is folded. That means this paper is folded into dice. What is the uh, correct possible diagrams they are asking. So if you observe what is opposite to 3, 3 opposite will be definitely this symbol. And what is opposite to dollar symbol, dollar opposite will be equal to plus, dollar opposite will be equal to plus and 4 opposite will be 6. This you can able to understand from the given uh, paper, unfolded paper. So 3 opposite is uh, and symbol but if you observe option 3 these are given adjacent that means definitely option 3 is wrong answer cannot consisting of 3 and 4 and 6 are going to be opposite with each other but in option 1 4 and 6 are adjacent this is also not a possible diagram. So eliminate all mark the answer as only 2 and 4. Hope you understand thank you so much.